What's up everyone, Tanara Kurinov, your friendly neighborhood gamer mouse here, and we're doing surprise. It's a Glider Pro house, not a Glider 4 house. I know, what a shocker. It's like all I've been doing is user-made Glider 4 houses lately. This is Art Museum, and this is made by John Calhoun himself, which, uh, it would have shown... Uh, oh, I know what it is. If you start with Command N, I don't know if this is an emulator thing or if it does this on an actual computer, but if you start with the keyboard shortcut, it doesn't show you the little intro screen. Yeah, that one. It shows it's by John Calhoun himself. This is a very fancy Glider Pro house. Well, I mean, there's a few challenges in it, but Art Museum is a house that's mostly just for show, so... And excuse me if my voice seems a little deeper. Uh, kind of slightly sick and mucusy lately, so I'm trying to not let that uh, express itself too much. So, but yeah, um, I looked through the footage I did. This house took me three attempts total. So, it's not a hard house. If I can do it in three attempts, it's pretty easy. I'm not the world's most proficient Glider Pro player. I'm not a pro at Glider Pro, you could say. That was terrible. <laughs> I wonder if I'm going to get any comments opposing me of a... Uh, that elevator ain't working. Opposing me. Accusing me of, I don't know, trying to imitate Critical All or something. I'm not trying, and if I do sound like that, then this is our I'll just take that as a compliment, system. I guess. I, I do have to wonder how big this house is, because there's a lot of really nice textures in here. Like, honestly, there's huge paintings. I'm playing it in the... Yeah, no, that was dumb. Uh, <laughs> told you I'm not the best Glider Pro player. Um, this house is best played with a computer with a lot of memory. At least if you're playing it on real hardware. On an emulator, you don't really have to worry about that too much. Although with Glider Pro... Glider and Glider Pro, you want Sheep Shaver, and you want a computer that's relatively quick, and give it a fair amount of memory, and don't have something stupid like Google Chrome running in the background. That makes it lag, at least it does for me. Uh, I got a little distracted. This is a house that is essentially made to play in nine room mode, where you can see all the adjacent rooms. There's three different view modes in Glider Pro. There's one room where it just shows the current room you're in, kind of like the original uh, Glider 4.0 that we know and love. Um, there's three room mode where you can see the rooms to the left and right of you. And then there's nine room mode where you can see all the adjacent rooms. And if you're using a large monitor setup and playing Glider Pro, you can see a lot. And I'm not entirely sure where the switches are for those, My uh... My feet are tired. <laughs> My feet are tired. Also, all the guards talk in here, which is kind of a hilarious little touch. Talk or clear their throats or whatever else. But anyway, uh... If you have a large resolution setup, which you can do in an emulator, but I try to keep it at 640 by 480 because I get a few dropped frames as it is playing Glider Ford Pro. And you do not want dropped frames in a game like Glider. But if you have a large monitor... Long, nothing to see here. I'll have to cut out some of my talking on the guards here. What, what was that? What was that? I wonder if these are voiced by Calhoun. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you have a large monitor uh, real hardware setup, 
that's anywhere decently fast. Like, uh, I don't know, an old G3 or some other power PC setup. You could have a huge field of view. You could basically see the entirety of the adjacent rooms. I've done it before, way back in the day. It's actually pretty nice. I love the name of this room. It's the whole, this is not a pipe painting. And the title of the room is This is a Pipe. I, I love glider room names and the little jokes they like to stick in there. Now that I think about it, you could probably just use that vent to go and get the star. You probably don't need the helium, but uh, oh well. <laughs> oh god. I gotta love that too, the freaking teleporting on the Picasso painting. <laughs> well, good thing I have foil. So that my st sheer stupidity didn't kill me. Man, foil's kinda saving my butt a lot here. Doesn't really save you from impacting the floor, though. There are some things even foil can't save you from. It can save you from burning, though. Yeah, that that sound. If it, if you take foil damage when it's due to burning, you get a slightly different sound effect. You don't get the metallic ting. You get like this weird like. You know, for being a high-class art museum, there sure is a lot of broken elevators. You know, given Soft Dorothy's logo, I'm not even surprised they have this painting in here. Do I have to censor this painting? I, I might have to put a bar over it just in case. can vandalize the painting for extra points. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm still not sure exactly where the collision boundaries are on the other, so uh Well we're watching you piece of paper. <laughs> Joke's well, on you. Watching you piece of paper. Joke's on you. I have an armored piece of paper. I kind of assume that the battery is going to be useful. And here we go. Yeah, I was probably supposed to go the other way. To be fair, this is the first time I reached this uh, point at all, so... Yeah, that, that was the first time I'd even... Oh god, that was stupid. Sometimes watching myself play glider is kind of painful. But then, you know, first time through... I know I said I attempted it... I did it in three tries? Yeah, that web teleport's a little finicky. You have to hit the top of it. Normally, if you get stuck in a web, it's death, but I escaped with uh, the rubber bands, if you saw. And yeah, that was Art Museum. A relatively simple joyride. Basically made more to show off the uh, 256 color capabilities of Glider Pro than to really provide a... Uh, Huge challenge, I guess. Like, it's not a it's not a bad house, definitely. But if you're looking for a challenge, this isn't really where you want to go. 
But if you're looking for a nice little refresher to Glider Pro, this and Davis Station, they're both pretty good starting points. So yeah. Uh, Tanara Kurinov, signing out. Until next time.